Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to work out the magnitude and the directions of a vector. Of course, there's a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. Let's say we have a vector. Let's say vector V is equal to IB. So let's plot this on the Cartesian plane. So this is Y and this is X. So the vector V, let's say vector V is here. So this is I and this is B, vector V here. So we can find the magnitude of V. So the magnitude of V, if you think about it, okay, the distance from origin horizontally is A units and vertically is B unit. The magnitude of V is from the origin. And in this case, we can find the origin we can find the magnitude of the we can find the magnitude of v magnitude is the distance from the origin to here i b the corner if you like so we can use pythagoras theorem so magnitude v so v magnitude is equal to so that is the hypotenuse so which is a square plus b square square root of that so this is the magnitude of V, and we can also find the directions. Now the directions of a vector is measured from the positive x-axis, and it's go anti-clockwise, okay? So that is, let's say from here to here, is theta. So this is the directions of the vector. So the direction of the vector, theta, is anywhere between 0 degrees and to 360 degrees. Or it can be like 0 to 2 pi, if you like, in radian form. So to work out this, so we have opposite and we have adjacent. So therefore, to work out the angle theta, tan theta is equal to opposite, which is B, over adjacent, which is A. There you go. So this is how you work out the magnitude and directions of a vector. So let's go through a couple examples. First one. To find the magnitude of u, better if we just quickly draw a diagram first. So this is y, this x. So the vector of u is negative 1, 2. So that means it's on the second quadrant. So let's say this is negative 1, 2. This is vector u. And this coordinate here is negative 1, 2, if you like. So to work out the magnitude, which is your Pythagoras theorem. So you can just quickly construct a rhyme or triangle. This is what it looks like. And to find the magnitude. So the magnitude is the distance from the origin to the point negative one, two. Okay, if you like. So the magnitude of U is this. So which is from here to here is one unit. So one square. And from here to here is two units. So plus two square. And square root of that so one square is one and two squares four we add together is five so that is square root of five unit that is the magnitude of vector u now to work out the directions remember the directions of a vector is always measured from the positive x-axis and it goes anti-clockwise so therefore the directions of this vector is from here to here so to work out this Better, we just quickly work out the reference point first. So this is theta, if you like. And when we found theta, we can just quickly 180 minus that, okay? So we have opposite and adjacent. So we just go 10 of theta equal opposite over adjacent. To work out theta, we just go inverse 10 of 2 over 1, inverse. So which is 2. So now I just quickly put that on a calculator. So I just go shift 10 to equal. So just press degree minutes button. So 63 degree and 26 minutes. So therefore to work out this angle here, which is the directions of the vector. So we just go 180 
degrees minus 63 degrees and 26 minutes so that will give me so i just go 180 minus the answer and then the minutes but that will give me 116 degrees and 34 minutes so 116 degrees and 34 minutes so therefore the magnitude of u is equal to square root of 5 and the so there you go that is the directions and the magnitude of u so to work out the vector of v is exactly the same manner so we can just quickly draw a diagram out first so this is y and x and vector v is on the fourth quadrant because four negative three so somewhere here so this is four and this is negative three now to work out the magnitude of course is magnitude of v this is v here so magnitude of v which is used pythagoras theorem to work this out so is equal to four square plus three square square root of that so four square plus three square is 25 square root of that give me five units and to work out the directions so the directions of the vector is go from positive x-axis and anti-clockwise so that is the directions so we just quickly work out the reference angle first to work this out so we have opposite and we have adjacent so that is 10 always okay so 10 of theta equal opposite which is three units over four units so theta is equal to 10 inverse of three quarter so put in calculator so I just go inverse 10 of 3 quarter. There you go. So that is 36 degrees and 52 minutes. So 36 degrees and 52 minutes. There you go. 36 degrees and 52 minutes for angle theta. But then to work out the directions, we need to go 360 minus the angle theta. So 360 minus 36 degrees and 52 minutes. So that will give me, so just go 360 minus the answer. There you go. So 323 degrees and eight minutes. So three, two, three degrees and eight minutes. So therefore the magnitude of V is equal to five units and the direction there you go please pause the video and try this one yourself hi i'm back how do you go so let me go through them with you okay before i do that please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so so you can help me to grow my channel so let's get into it to work out the directions and the magnitude of OA which is quickly draw the vector on the diagram first so let me just label this this is X this is Y so the vector OA is negative 3 negative 5 so it's on the third quadrant that would do so this is negative 3 negative 5 this a here so therefore to work out the magnitude so we can see this is negative 3 this negative 5 so we just use Pythagoras theorem so this is all a the magnitude all a is this so that is 3 square plus 5 square and square root of that of course so I just quickly put on a calculator so I got 3 square plus 5 square equal so square root of 34 so to work out the directions so the directions of this vector here all the way from positive x-axis to here then we just find out the reference angle first so this angle here that made this angle theta so to work out angle theta so we know that we have opposite adjacent so I just write 10 
of theta is equal opposite, which is 5, and adjacent is 3. So theta, so theta is equal to 10 inverse of 5 over 3. So just put on a calculator. So we just go inverse 10 of 5 divided by 3. So there you go, 59 degrees and 2 minutes. To work out the directions of this vector, we just go 180, we add the reference angle. So we just go 180 degrees, we add 59 degrees and 2 minutes. So I just quickly put on a calculator. So 180, add the answer. There you go. So 239 degrees and 2 minutes. 239 degrees and 2 minutes. So I just write the answer out. Therefore, the magnitude of OA is equal to square root of 34 units and the direction is 239 degrees and 2 minutes. There you go. Part B. Again, we just quickly Draw the vector out first. So this is y, this is x. So the vector OB is negative 5, 4. So negative 5, 4 will be in this quadrant here. It's here. So let's say this is B here. So this is 4 and this is negative 5. So to work out the magnitude, so the magnitude of this, which is used the Pythagoras theorem, so OB magnitude is equal to 5 square plus 4 square, square root of that. So I just put on a calculator. So I just go 5 square plus 4 square. So there you go, 41. So that is equal to 41 square root. So that is square root of 41 units. And to work out the directions, we need to work out this angle here. So therefore, we just need to quickly work out the reference angle first. So we have opposite, which is 4 units, adjacent, which is 5. So 10 of theta equal opposite 4 over 5. So theta will give me 10 inverse of that. So I just go shift 10 of 4 over 5. There you go. So 38 degrees and 40 minutes. 38 degrees, 40 minutes. So therefore, the magnitude OB is equal to square root of 41 units and the direction is 38 degrees and 40 minutes. There you go. I hope you got all of them correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.